L.R., the liberal redneck here. Coming to you from a country where the dynamics of the 2024 election have turned upside down. For all practical purposes, President Joe Biden has been forced to cancel his campaign by his own party, and the hunt is on for his replacement right now. Vice President Kamala Harris is the leading contender, but nothing is certain until the Democratic National Convention picks their candidate. The only old, worn-out piece of crap still in the race for president now belongs exclusively to the Republican Party. Normally, in a presidential election, it is difficult to unseat an incumbent. Democrats no longer hold that advantage, but their opponent is one of the few incumbents who lost bigly in his attempt to win a second term. The only other time I can recall an incumbent withdrawing from the campaign was Lyndon Johnson, and that resulted in President Richard Nixon. However, Nixon was not a convicted felon, and he had barely lost one of the closest elections in American history to John Kennedy. The Republicans spent their entire convention attacking President Biden, and now they have to totally retool their efforts. That also applies to the Russian bots, who have spent their efforts attacking Biden like they did Hillary Clinton in 2016. Trump is upset that Biden withdrawing has put his ear on page two, and the GOP is threatening to sue the DNC for forcing them to spend their time and money against a candidate the DNC knew was going to withdraw. If the Democrats do end up choosing Harris as their candidate, it will result in a prosecutor against a convicted felon, and that can make for some interesting fireworks. Another very key factor in the race will be Harris's choice for vice president. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has said she would decline and pledges to remain in Michigan. My personal favorite for vice president would be Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. That would put him in a strong position to run uh, for president in eight years. Interesting to note that the announcement of J.D. Vance as Trump's running mate resulted in a net negative favorable rating of minus six, where the average for such an announcement is plus 19 points favorable. President Biden ended his career for the sake of his country, and Trump would, and in fact wants to, in the country for the sake of his career via the now infamous Project 2025 or Agenda 47, which is the Republican wet dream for taking over the United States of America. Save our democracy and vote blue for everyone's sake. <laughs>